everyone and happy Sunday and happy Christmas. Today is the first Sunday of Christmas and um, it is also the second day of Christmas. So if you uh, grew up singing the 12 days of Christmas, uh, perhaps you do or don't know that um, the 12 days actually start on Christmas day. It's not before Christmas, but it's after Christmas. So, um, you know, happy second day of Christmas. Um, today is going to be uh, obviously all online. So it's all a little pared down, uh, more <laughs> just like an acoustic set. So um, I invite you in your own space, in your own homes to um, gather in. Um, whatever that looks like for you, um, and prepare your hearts and your minds um, and your spirits for our uh, Christmas Sunday service. Um, do have a couple of announcements. There is not going to be fiber arts this week. Um, I am taking the day off, so uh, we won't be having fiber arts, but um, we'll be back next week in full force. That'll be on Zoom. Community dinner is a go. So um, if you're in Boston and you're looking to either help out or serve a meal, you're always welcome to stop by the church on Monday evenings from five to seven, there'll be a meal and um, it's, you can help serve or you can help, uh, you know, just grab some food, whatever you'd like to do, uh, you're more than welcome to. Um, I think that's it in terms of announcements. Our Advent Bible study is wrapped up. Uh, we'll begin uh, something new in the new year. So um, if you are interested in a new Bible study, um, joining in that, please let us know and we'll be sure to add you to the, the list uh, for specific emails just about that. I think that's it in terms of calls to, uh, in terms of uh, announcements. And so I just want to say welcome. Uh, however you're joining us, um, wherever you're joining us from, whatever space, um, headspace, literal space you're joining us in, you are fully welcome in this space. And we're so glad you're joining us for worship. Um, and just know that whoever you are, wherever you're coming from, whatever you believe or don't believe, uh, whether your Christmas was a hot mess or felt very special indeed, whatever that looks like, you are fully welcome here. And we're so glad you're worshiping with us at Old West. Our practice at Old West is whoever is um, leading a certain part says the italics and then the community is invited to respond in the bold. And so I invite you to join me in the call to worship. Receive the good news. God is calling out to us. They call us to justice, mercy, love, and peace. Let us seek the divine with our hearts and minds in worship and in action. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our first hymn is uh, going to be on the screen. And I'm pretty sure it's star child. The good news is you're like, wow, Sarah, there's a recording on the screen. How am I going to know the lyrics? Supposedly the lyrics are going to show up in the screen. So, you know, we're all learning new things still learning curve continues. So hopefully this works out. Um, this is our Christmas choir. We recorded this a couple of Sundays ago. So uh, I invite you to sing along with our Christmas choir. This year. 
our responsive reading today uh, comes actually from Isaiah. And so Kate, our co-lay leader, is going to be leading us in our responsive reading. So I'm going to be reading the italics and the bold, and feel free to respond in the bold. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of a messenger who proclaims peace, who brings good news, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God rules. Listen, your lookouts lift their voice. They sing out together. Right before their eyes, they see the Lord returning to Zion. Bring into song together, you ruins of Jerusalem. The Lord has comforted their people and has redeemed Jerusalem. Our scripture reading comes from the Psalms today, and we read a Psalm almost every week in church. Usually it's our responsive reading, um, and that's just because um, the responsive reading is supposed to mimic the Psalms to um, because they were often read or sung in community. And so um, it's not often that we preach from it, even though it has, um, there's a lot of incredible content there and some of our most known passages or parts of scripture come from the Psalms. And so this, um, this Christmas, we are receiving um, our scripture today from the Psalms. So I invite you to read along with me um, and uh, to imagine this being sung or said in a, a big community space as it was, was once done. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from heaven. Praise God on the heights, praise God, all of you who are their messengers. Praise God, all of you who comprise their heavenly forces. Sun and moon, praise God. All you bright stars, praise God. You highest heaven, praise God. Do the same, you waters that are above the sky. Let all of the people praise the Lord's name because God gave the command that they were created. God set them in place always and forever. God made a law that will not be broken. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all you ocean depths. Do the same fire and hail, snow and smoke, stormy wind that does what God says. Do the same, you mountains and every hill, fruit trees and every single cedar. Do the same, you animals, wild or tame, you creatures that creep along and you birds that fly. Do the same, you sovereigns of the earth and every single person, you ruler and every single leader on earth. Do the same, you young, you children too, you who are old together with you who are young. Let all these praise the Lord's name because only God's name is high over all. Only God's majesty is over the earth and heaven. God raised the strength of their people, praise of all their faithful ones. That's the Israelites, the people who are close to them. Praise the Lord. The psalmist bids us praise. And if you didn't catch it, the psalms are often um, repeated over and over again. This is a part of Hebrew poetry where it's understood to be um, good poetry, good Hebrew poetry um, in ancient times to be able to say the same thing in different ways, so different variations of the theme. And so the psalmist um, bids us and all creation praise over and over again. Praise the Lord with song and with dancing. Praise the Lord from heaven and on earth and under the earth, all creatures, the birds of the air and creatures of the deep. Praise your maker. The psalmist says that the earth and all the stars sing to the Lord a new song. They are lifting high God's holy name, raising their voices together, calling, saying, clap your hands. And if you do not, then the rocks will surely tumble together, uh, celebrating God's mighty works. For we are told that God is doing a new thing and we are asked to perceive it. The ruler of things has brought us heaven here on earth. God is here and in our midst. They have been born of Mary, the one that was promised, the one that the prophets prophesied about and the one whom the angels sung about. The fullness of God's mercy is on display, enfleshed, fully present in this newborn babe. Come and worship, we are told, come and worship Christ, the newborn king. 
Angels from the realms of glory invite us to come and join the singing of the spheres, giving praise to this most precious, most holy one. For the one who sang creation's story, call us in and now they proclaim the Messiah's birth. Worship and rejoice for the joy of heaven has come down. Angels and sages, prophets and paupers, children and elders, come, the prophet and the psalmist says, come and seek, come and know this great desire of nation. The psalmist sings a song of praise that encompasses all of creation, all of time, inviting all to come and sing for Christ has come this day. The divine's coming is good news for all people, for all creation and for all of time. It's good news for us, and it was good news for the shepherds, for the sheep and those around the manger, and it was good news for the angels around the throne. On this last Sunday of the year, we are invited to come and to celebrate with all of our being, with all of creation, with all those who have gone before us and who will come after us. We are invited to come and to praise, for our praise is a witness to God's faithfulness, fulfilled in the coming of Jesus. It's a testimony to God's continued work in us and in creation. Truly, for unto us a child has been born, and it is good news. Unto us a child is given, and he is called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Creator, and Sovereign of Peace. Merry Christmas. It's our practice at Old West to, it's our practice at Old West to have a time called open space. And this time is a time where you're invited to do a number of things that are reflective and engaging and um, spiritually nourishing for you. And this can look like a lot of different things. Uh, since we're all online right now, this is a great time for you to prepare communion. If you want, you're also invited to light an advent candle or you are invited to light your Christ candle. But after Christmas happens, our Advent candles are all lit and we have a center candle. It's called the Advent, uh, the Christ candle. And you're invited to light it. In the chat, I've included our link to our flow code. And there you're able to um, put your, uh, your donate uh, funds. But um, this week, since we're online, uh, we can go back to using the chat for <laughs> prayer requests. So feel free to use the chat and put in your prayer requests, whatever they are. Uh, we practice um, and fully understand that prayer is important. Um, prayer changes things and it changes our hearts and it changes our relationship to each other and it changes our relationship with God in a good way. Um, being in conversation with someone helps you get to know them better. So prayer is one of the ways we have a conversation with God. So feel free to put your prayer requests in the chat. We'll read them out loud later in the service. Uh, you're invited to read a scripture passage or a poem. And if you give or are an online giver, this is a great time to give online. During open space, we'll listen to some music. Um, and you're again invited to prepare communion if you wish it. Welcome to open space.
We'll now sing our next hymn. And so I invite you to join me and it'll be in the, again, ideally uh, the, the lyrics will be up for you. Um, and so, uh, you know, as always, we're just gonna have grace for when I misspell things. Yeah, and don't have punctuation or capitalization. Yep, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Grace abounds, Christ is born. Grace incarnate. So, you know, just grace in the PowerPoint too. So I invite you to sing our next hymn. It's our practice at Old West Church to, um, after open space, shift into a time of prayer and a time of um, community prayer. But we always start with uh, lifting up the mass shootings that have happened just in the last week. Um, and even though it's the holiday week, uh, a week of um, time where people think about um, and spend time with their families or their friends or just themselves. And we think of hope and joy and peace. Um, we have to think that this is not true for everyone and that there are communities and um, individuals and families that are torn apart yet again by gun violence in our nation. And so we lift these up um, knowing that this is just a small indication of um, these numbers don't represent families and people who are now in hospital or mourning. And so um, in a time of joy, there's also a time of grieving. And so we grieve these losses and our prayer is always that this is um, the last year we ever have to do this. So Kate, I invite you to join me. Um, we'll be reading these and at the end, we'll say, uh, God, hear our prayer. Uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, zero killed, four injured. Alpharetta, Georgia, one killed, three injured. Brooklyn, New York, zero killed, four injured. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, six injured. Lovejoy, Illinois, one killed, three injured. God, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. May the legacy of Archbishop Desmond Tutu continue to teach us and may he rest in power alongside the saints. God. God, hear our prayer. Prayer for the, for the peace on earth. God, hear our prayer. Bring an end to all systems of oppression and institutions of injustice. God, hear our prayer. Prayer for the health and happiness for all people. God, hear our prayer. Keep all safe in their travels this holiday season. God, hear our prayer. Healthcare workers experiencing or bracing for the winter surge. God, hear our prayer. Immune compromised and other high risk people who are likely impact, to be impacted by Omicron. God, hear our prayer. For those who aren't at high risk, have compassion and be mindful of others' safety. God, hear, our prayer. hear our prayer. Thank you so much, Kate. 
Indeed, church, these are prayers of our community, um, and we lift them up from our hearts, and we lift them up in this cloud of witnesses. Um, and so I invite you to join me in prayer um, as we lift these up um, among the others that we remain uh, keeping and treasuring in our hearts. Holy and gracious God, we come to you today across time and space. We come to you uh, across state lines. We come to you in pajamas and Christmas sweaters. We come to you tired and we come to you joyful. We come to you frustrated and worried. We come to you full, trusting and with full joy. And God, you take us just as we are. However we come today, however we gather, you take us into your arms, sheltering us with your wings and you love us. You know the desires of our heart. You know our prayers and our needs more than we could ever know. And you are closer to us than our every breath. And so God, in between the breaths, as we rest in the inhale and the exhale, we invite your peace to come into our hearts. We invite your compassion to fill our being that we might be your hands and feet. We invite you to change us so that we might change the world to be a better place for all of your creation. And Lord, we thank you this Christmas for the sending of your child, that perfect and holy one who taught us how to be you and how to be your people here on earth. So change us once again to be more like your child, Jesus, that we might change the world. Amen. We always shift from prayers of the community to prayers around the communion table. And the communion table doesn't have to be a fancy altar. It can be a, a music stand or a kitchen table or a coffee table or a stool that you swiped from your parents' kitchen, <laughs> which is what I'm using today. Um, but uh, if you are going to be celebrating communion, um, I do invite you to make sure you've got it prepared. And I invite you to read the bold and I'll read the italics. We cry out to you, our creator, come to us quickly. Listen to our voice when we cry out to you. Let our prayers come before you like incense. Let our uplifted hearts be like an offering. Our hopes are in you, our redeemer. We take refuge in you, our sustainer. Holy, mighty, immortal one, from the setting of the sun to its rising, your name is praised throughout all the earth. Rocks and trees, birds and seas, they all lift their voices in song to you. And so from our living rooms and kitchen tables, we lift our voices too. We praise and bless your holy name, your mighty works and your promised redemption. And we add our voices to the host of heaven's ceaseless praise, joining that unending song saying, Santo, 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 mi corazón te adora. Mi corazón te sabe decir, santo eres Dios. Truly, you are holy, love incarnate. You love and cherish us so much, your creation, that you sent your child, Jesus, to be in our midst, to help us and teach us become the beloved community. In the midst of turmoil and uncertainty, Christ came down at Christmas time and took time took time to create community authentically, took time by calling each follower by name to be healed, to be renewed, and to be transformed. On the night of Jesus's arrest and execution by an unjust police state, Jesus took time once again. He gathered some friends around a simple table for a simple meal and showed us the importance of community, forgiveness, and love. That night, he took some bread he broke it and he shared it with his friends saying, take, eat, and remember me. Then Jesus took a cup and in doing the same said, as often as you drink of this, remember me. And because we find ourselves in need of beloved community of God's justice, Christ's mercy and the intervention and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we remind ourselves of God's mighty acts and ongoing love as we proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ, you died, are risen, and will come again. We await your kingdom come on earth when your peace and justice will reign. 
now is a point of the service that's called the epiclesis. And this is a fancy church word that hopefully we're starting to learn because I'm a nerd and I like to make other people church nerds, but only for the fun things. And the epiclesis would have been one of my favorite things in church because the practice is that this is when the priest blesses the elements. Um, but we know that it's just not a priest um, or a pastor that is a blessing to the world. Um, and so because each and every one of us is equipped with different gifts and skills and talents and passions. And those things help make us who we are. They also help us go into the world and serve it in a way that is unique to us. And so it's not just me um, blessing and serving, but each and every one of us is blessing and serving the world by simply being who we are and then living into our full selves authentically. And so I invite you as fellow priests, as fellow ministers to God's earth, um, to raise your hands and your hearts in celebration as we bless our communion elements. Holy, mighty, immortal God, despite our fears, despite our frustrations and our failings, you are here in our midst, always loving us. You call us back to you to be in communion with you and to be your blessed, beloved community. You call us into true, authentic relationship with you, creator, redeemer, and sustainer of all. And you call us to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, proclaim release for the captives, liberation for the prisoners, and the time of your favor. And though we may be weary of the work, we know that your help is always on the way and holy is your name. For you sent your child, Jesus, to be in our midst and you sent your spirit to be our guide. So we say, send your spirit once again, mighty God, to be in our midst, to be in our homes and all these gifts before us so that they might be for us like your heart broken for the world and your love poured out for the healing of the nations. May these gifts nourish us with grace and hope. Yet we say, keep us hungry for the work until your kingdom come, your will be done for all of your creation. We pray this boldly, God, for we are your children, your beloved ones. Continue to teach us, feed us, inspire and guide us and bring us into glory. Amen. And it's in the spirit of bring the incarnate Christ that we pray these words, eternal spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, divine parent of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and testing, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, God, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. Church, I invite you to take your cookie, or maybe if it's, since it's Christmas, you've got a Christmas cookie <laughs> lying around, or a cinnamon roll, or whatever you're using, and I invite you to break a piece off. And so like once we were holding something that was a little bit larger, so now we have a little bit smaller piece. We are reminded that we come from the big whole body of Christ. And we, though we are a small part of it, uh, we are reminded we are integral to the work and we are reminded that we don't do this alone. So I invite you to serve yourself. Um, and if you are with someone else who also wants communion, you're invited to serve them. Our final hymn is Go Tell It on the Mountain. Um, this is one of my favorite hymns. And um, there is a passage in scripture that says, beautiful are the uh, feet um, on the one of the feet, are the feet of the one on the mountain who brings good news. And I love that image um, because I was a runner and runners don't have pretty feet, but um, it is a lovely concept to think that from the top of our head to the bottoms of the feet, when we bring the good news of Christ and we bring that reality into the world, truly it is beautiful for all and all aspects of that is gorgeous and splendid and beautiful. And so I invite you to sing out, go tell it on the mountain.
Yay, indeed. <laughs> um, uh, I'm so grateful uh, for all of you joining this Sunday um, for church and uh, for taking time out of Christmas to be here and be present. Um, I invite you now to receive the benediction afterwards. You're welcome to unmute yourselves. You're certainly welcome to unmute yourselves for the alleluias. We always do it um, like small, medium, and large. So small is for ourselves claiming that the peace and joy and truth of Christ and the goodness of that, we need that for ourselves. We need to be able to receive, to give out. And then we say a little bit louder, and that is for our community. And so whatever that looks like for you, whatever you think of when you think of your community, your people, uh, that's who you're saying it for. And then the biggest, the last hallelujah is your loudest one yet, and that is for the whole earth. Um, Christ came not just... Uh, for one or for a few, but for all. And so we sing it for all of God's people. Um, so I invite you to receive the benediction now. Receive the good news. God calls us to justice and love, mercy and peace. May we see God in all things. Go forth in hope, go forth in joy, bringing Christ to all. Alleluia. 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 Yay. Happy Christmas all. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to stop.